Alright, in this video, I hope I can show you how you can be a superior player at StarCraft by using some advanced psychological techniques and doing just a little bit of research on the internet. Now keep in mind that I am not a very good StarCraft player to begin with, and since with this game I'm focusing primarily on what I say to my opponent, I'll be playing even worse than usual. So make sure to pay attention to the conversation we have, rather than on the gameplay, which is incidental. Another thing, uh, it's a fairly long game, so I will be speeding it up faster and slower as it goes along to skip through the boring parts and, and focus hopefully on the conversation itself. So you'll have to read fairly quickly. Now let's get started. Alright, I have my probes go and get minerals. That's usually pretty important. Uh, I like to be Protoss when I'm doing this because it's easier to be lazy with Protoss. Uh, and oh, there he goes being polite. So let's be polite back. Let's make him feel comfortable and at ease. There we go. Uh, next, I like to keep the conversation going. Remember, this only works if they keep talking to you. Ask him how long he's been playing, things like that. Any of that'll work. Oh, that's cool. I also played the, uh, the first one way back when. Now, I like to be courteous so he doesn't feel manipulated or pressurized in any way. Let him know what's going on. Some of the text can go by pretty quick, so if you need to rewatch any of this or pause any of this, that, that's okay. He's being polite, so, so you do the same. When your opponent's polite, you should be polite back. Uh, keep showing him friendly courtesy. That'll make it uh, hit harder when you use uh, some of your techniques. Wow, that's West Virginia, huh? Yeah. I'm actually in Beckley this weekend. It's amazing. Get my zealots there. Wow, he's in Beckley too? That's kind of an amazing coincidence. Wow. Well, what do you know? Small world. Get myself together. Alright, this is the moment where you can stop being friendly and uh, become a little bit more invasive. So hopefully this will jar him enough to weaken his gameplay. Okay, I don't think it worked. He just called me a weirdo. So that's one technique uh, down, but maybe it made a little difference. Uh, just like in actual combat, you want to exploit your opponent's weakness. I like to exploit their psychological frailties and insecurities. It puts them on edge and makes them more likely to make a mistake. I am here in the shadows. It's I definitely when you push that your shadows. opponent's more likely to uh, mess up. Okay, so she's not back from work. Don't act like. Okay, I he's a little irritated that I was uh, presumptuous about that, but let's let's keep uh, let's keep I this conversation going. In the shadows. Yeah, this is where your research really pays off, so make sure you've done your homework on your opponent. I am here in the shadows. You must construct now obviously at this point, arms. I'm not telling him who I am. Uh, I want to uh, uh, make sure he feels vulnerable, uh, he's more likely to mess up that way. Kind of like the uh, the art of war, or, or not loud. Lao Tzu, or Tao Te Ching, or is it the art of war? It, it, uh, knowing, uh, knowing your opponent makes you invincible, knowing yourself makes you fearless. I don't know, but knowing your opponent's a really good thing. Uh, did you try her cell? Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm skipping ahead pretty fast this part because he's currently calling his girlfriend Amanda. Uh, but the joke's on him because I have her cell phone. So it's kind of, um, kind of a shock to him when it, uh, she's not picking up. Now, hopefully, at this point, he's panicking a little bit, uh, wondering where his uh, where his girlfriend is. Um, and I'll use this opportunity to sort of sneak around the side, bring my stalkers and zealots up here. I'm here in the shadows. You must construct additional. Piles. See, a little bit of stress goes a long way in hurting your opponent's ability to macro properly. Upgrade Funny thing is, uh, when I rewatch uh, re this replay with the view for everyone, he actually had his void race halfway across the map, but about the time 
we started mentioning his girlfriend, they, they suddenly paused. So uh, using that kind of technique can definitely throw your opponent off the, uh, off the right track of uh, good gameplay. Mineral field depleted. Now here is where you really just want to make your opponent feel vulnerable. Make him feel like he's alone and unwanted in, in a cold, cruel world. Uh, no one plays worse StarCraft than when they feel like that. Now at this point, he's still thinking about um, some of the conversation rather than focusing on bringing his Void Rays back. He has enough Void Rays that I wouldn't be able to stop him, but I didn't have to play that well. Uh, I just had to make sure he didn't play well. Now I should be kind and put him out of his misery and finish him off, but when you've done enough research, when you've kind of uh, made the circumstances uh, this much in your favor, you really, you really want to milk it. So uh, hopefully he won't hold it against me for uh, finishing him off now. Here we go. And once again, it's important to be polite and gracious in your victory. No one likes a gloater. And that's how we do it. That's how you uh, beat a superior opponent using uh, purely psychological technique, even if you're not playing particularly well. One more thing before I leave you. Uh, it's not related to StarCraft, but it's a fun fact that most people don't know about. It turns out a pig's heart uh, looks almost exactly like a human heart, so there, there you go.